about Urban Adventures. This is uh, day two. We came here last night. This weekend we are camping up here in the North Woods. Kind of have no plan, just being out here, just enjoying Mother Nature, solo camping out of my overlanding truck. Just got the fire started this morning. And look at this view. This is one of the reasons why I love camping northern woods. Just out here enjoying enjoying what beauty that Mother Nature has given us. Real nice calm morning, nice rolling fog on top of the water. Just can't beat that. Well today, more probably more of a vlog style. Don't really have anything planned. Just out here just camping. Probably gonna go on some of these uh, dirt roads and trails. Some of them look pretty cool. But uh, we're gonna be cooking breakfast here in a little bit. Just enjoy a fire. And enjoy the mother nature. So I'll come along on this journey. We're just gonna go with the flow and see what kind of ventures we'll, we'll get ourselves into today. So beautiful, so beautiful. Kerry Gold Pure Irish Butter. That's what it looks like. It's actually really good butter. Gotta make some eggs out of it. While the butter's kind of melted, I'm just gonna dip my bread in. I'm gonna turn this into toast in a little bit. At least I can soak, soak it in to the side, throw some more butter on for the eggs. Breakfast. Eggs. I grilled ham and cheese for breakfast. Come and join me, guys. Right by, right by the fire. Mm. Food just tastes so much better when you're camping. A lot of you guys have been asking more about my truck to show more of my truck, so so I'm gonna be going through my truck build and how I have it set up for overlanding. It's been an amazing journey with this truck. An amazing journey. Alright guys, let's go over my Toyota Tacoma, my overland build. It is a 2007 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. And this is actually one of the rare one of the rare Toyota trucks. 
as it's got the Speedway Blue with the long box. So that's why it's kind of have a little, little special meaning, meaning for me because it's such a rare truck. You don't see too many of these uh, Speedway Blues with the long box, especially in the TRD Sport. So up front right here, we have the true North Fabrication front bumper. This was a prototype made by two North Fabrications. It's rated up to a 9,000 pound winch, which I don't have one on yet. And uh, probably not for this build, but uh, my next truck is gonna have a, a winch on it with a different bumper. But so far I love this bumper. I bought a bare metal, got it all sandblasted, painted, everything. And then I'm running Baja Designs fog lights. These are the yellow amber. And then also for my ditch lights, I also have Baja Designs. These are the Squadron Sports. And these are super bright. So I got my ditch lights facing probably about 15, 10, 15 degrees. And then uh, my yellows, they're just facing straight out. As far as wheels, I'm running Method Envy wheels. 17 by 8s and then I'm running 265 70 17 Falcon Wall Peaks. I originally did have BF Great Ridge Mud Terrain 285 70 17s on and these were the original tires that I had on before I did my lift. So that's why I just kind of went back to them and it plus it saves me a little bit on gas too. On the bottom I'm just running the factory running boards. These are aluminum. The bolts are pretty rusted onto the frame, so that's why I decided to just keep these. But for my next build, I'm going to have actual rock sliders. As for the rack system, I'm running the CBI Overland Rack. With the, uh, with the CBI bike rack mount right here, this is the universal mount. And then I'm running a tray style bike mount. This is made by Thule. Or Thule, Thule, something like that. This is how the bike locks in. Just click this, clip this in. Turn the key so it's locked. And I, I am running the Ironman, the Delta Wing 270 XTR 71. This is a real nice awning. It goes 270 degrees, so it covers the side of the truck right here. It goes all the way back to the back side of the truck, which I can use it for when it's raining. I can still cook underneath. Then I have some rear backup lights. This just helps me to see when I'm backing up. And then I have some chase lights. These are also strobe, yellow and red lights. Make sure you don't have blue lights or white lights. Those are illegal. Then I carry a little small power generator. My boards, they used to be hooked up right by the bikes, but I got to find a different spot for them because I put the bike rack there. So they're probably going to go on the end side. And we'll go through this in a little bit. This is my little kitchen area. This has got all my cooking utensils and stuff. These are just my waders. And then this rear bumper is, a, is the body armor. Is the body armor. And this is also the body armor swing out arm. This is a tire bag made by Mercars. I'm, I'll link this down below. I got this from Amazon. And it's got pretty big, pretty big storage. So yeah, you could throw all your trash in here. I just have my trash bag in here. You could throw your soiled clothes in here. Then go to this side. This is my rooftop tent. And this is the Voyager off-grid outdoor gear flip over tent. It's a very nice tent. It's uh, made for two people, but I think it's, uh, if you like a lot of room, it's, it's real good for just one person. So basically it just flips over just like this. And then it just folds right back down and then you just throw the soft top on. You just tie it on to your bumper. 
and this one is just hanging loose because they're like I'll have a spot to hang this or hook this up to and then above has storage this is uh, some of my recovery gear my impact wrench all the good stuff and this is the upland bravo b above cab rack it's been a real nice rack too i've had it on here for almost a year now and it's never it's never came loose it's held all my gear really nice on the other side i just have some uh, rod rod holders or you put skis or snowboards on top if you want to so i do have tools I carry tools with me. This is a RV jack. This was recommended by Mav and I uh, actually got it from where Mav got his from too. And these are just uh, tent stakes for my my awning. And as you can see, it's pretty packed in here. I just got extra blankets. It was uh, pretty chilly last night, so I could have used the extra blankets, but I was kind of lazy to get down and get them. Then I got my tool kit, just my biking gear. This is my little fridge. Opens from the side. And then I have, I can store my eggs, my condiments, whatever in here. And this is all powered by Jackery. Right, so this is the Jackery that's powering the refrigerator right now. And it's also hooked up to my DC outlet so I part up it's where it charges when I'm driving and right now it's at I know it's at 80 percent I never had this running since 5 30 last night since I parked here last night and it is uh, just over nine o'clock right now so it's been running for just a little over about probably 14 hours 14 15 hours and it's only 80 percent and it also depends on how much uh, or how hot it is outside too I think right now I have it set at about 37 degrees and it's only used 20% of the battery which is pretty nice but in the summertime when it's uh, really hot you can go through a lot of battery one one day like this you'll go through 50-60% of your battery it just depends on how hard your refrigerator is working I just have my personal gear right here so if I need a bailout boom right here it's all I just grab it and go and then I just put my rods right here. I need extra gear right here so it's not so cluttered. Then I do have a video on this. The Bird Dogs Tech Deck. I'll link it uh, above so you guys can see. And uh, so it's got the Tech Deck mount with some RAM mounts. And that's where I have my phone. And then above I just have all my, my swag up here. Right here's where I have my Midland CB radio. I just have it hooked up to the side of the truck right here with the power going to the DC outlet. So on the back here I have my battery jumper pack, next are holes for when I have my LP gas tank. This is just my OBD2 reader in case I get a check engine light or whatever. I could just check it real quick, diagnose it real quick. And then my little small first aid kit which I carry I have a small kit in case if I need a bail out or whatever too I could just take this and in my bag and just head out then I have a power inverter with some extra USB cords and they just fit real nicely in the back pocket right here oh yes we forgot to also have a super solar saga 100 this is the Jackery the Jackery 100 watts solar panel for charging the Jackery so I can charge my Jackery without having my truck on all the time.
Otherwise, that's about it for my build. guys there he goes oh. all right guys let's go find a new let's go find a new spot Adventures. So hopefully you guys like this episode. We had a lot of fun uh, on the trails and everything. Solo, solo camping, and just spending time alone by the fire and, er and everything. So I'm heading home now, and we'll see you on the next adventure. I don't know what we're gonna be doing next, but we're gonna be doing something fun, hopefully, and maybe some fishing. So, all right. As always, follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen. So let's catch you on the next. Adventure. Thank you.